Hello, this is explainer.com and I'm just going to go over ordinary level maths paper 1 um, just a, a certain part of question 7 which is the real life situation in the uh, differentiation group of questions which is 6 to 8 on this paper uh, because basically there's some similarities I want to point out year on year. Okay, what's doing? Every year in paper 1, question 7 part C is always a description of a real life situation involving missiles or flares or cars or trains. They sure, sh they sure sound different each year. Actually, no. Yes, the object varies, missiles, cars, trains, but you always get a quadratic equation giving position or distance in terms of time t. This equation is easily the most important part of the question. What the object is, and what it's doing, is really a distraction. And then what? You can plug in values for t into that equation and always get the object's position or distance from some spot. To get speed, you must differentiate once, and this will give you the speed equation. If you set this to zero, it means the object must have stopped, or it has reached a maximum and is about to change direction. To get acceleration, you differentiate the speed equation. For a quadratic, this will give you an equation with no t, because in fact you've differentiated a, differentiated a quadratic twice. You just get a number. Now you don't always get the uh, acceleration asked, but let's just look at six years. Okay, the year, the object that's asked about, the equation, and what we're asked to find. In 2003, it was a train stopping. The equation was 30 t minus a quarter t squared, and we are asked to find the speed, the time when the speed is zero, and the distance to stop. 2004, it was a plane taking off. 2t squared plus 3t was the equation, and we were asked for speed again, the time when speed equals 83, and the distance at speed equal to 83. We were also asked for acceleration, which I've al already mentioned how you get. 2005 was a car stopping. And that in the equation was s equals to 12t minus 3, two, uh, sorry, 3 over 2 times t squared. We were asked to find the speed, the time when, when it stopped, and the distance from start to stop. 2006, it was a missile fired up. <coughs> h for height this time it was equal to t in brackets 200 minus 5t. We were asked for speed, acceleration, and the h, uh, the height, at, at a maximum. 2007, a car was starting off, and that was um, the equation was amazingly similar to 2004. It was two at uh, two t squared plus two t, and we were asked for the speed at t equal to two, the acceleration, and t at a distance equal to 24 meters. And in 2008, it was a flare being fired up, a distress flare supposedly. Uh, the height was given as 20 plus 90 t minus 5 t squared. And we were asked for the height at t equal to 7, the speed at t equal to 7, and the maximum height. So that gives you a survey of six years of this part of question 7 on paper 1. As you can see, it's always a quadratic. So what, what I've tried to say is that the object that is being dealt with, whether it's starting or stopping, and what colour object it is, all those are distractions. You just need the equation and you just need to know how to get the speed and the acceleration and how to plug in values for t and get corresponding values for either um, the distance or the height or the speed. So let's just look at one of these equations, or sorry, one of these questions. My bet is that 2009 will see a stopping type movement, so we're going to look at 2003. That was a train stopping with the equation 30t minus a quarter t squared. We were asked for the speed when the brakes are first applied. As mentioned, to get the speed equation, you differentiate the distance equation. Note, watch out, the exam uses the symbol S for distance. Okay? Do not think this stands for speed. That stands for distance. So to get the speed equation, you differentiate once with respect to t, which is ds dt. And the answer is 30 minus a half t. This will give us the speed of the train for whatever t we want. Now the brakes were, were applied at t equal to zero, we we're told that, so we just plug in t equal to zero, and we get the answer 30 meters per second. Next we're asked for the seconds it takes for the, for the train to come to rest. 
What does coming to rest mean? That its distance is zero? No. That its speed is zero? Yes. So set the speed equation you just got to zero. ds dt equals zero. So 30 minus a half t equals zero. And that implies that t equals 60 seconds. And the final part is how far the train travelled in that time. Well, it took 60 seconds during its travelling, right? But do we know where the train started from? That was when t equals a zero. So if we set t equals to zero in the original equation, which was 30t minus a quarter t squared, we get s equals to zero. And if we set t equal to 60, we get s equal to, s to 900 meters. So it takes the train 900 meters uh, to stop. And that's the answer. Thanks for watching, and good luck in the exams.